I just want to take a moment to appreciate how frickin' perfect the weather is right now. Yeah, I complain about it 99% of the time, but it's worth it for this. Perfect spring afternoon. What's up, nerds? Just taking a leisurely late afternoon stroll. Pondering things that we ponder when we walk. Tossing out some pearls of wisdom in regards to GM tips, right? Not that I am any way, shape, or form. Categorically perfect as a DM. But I think I've picked up a thing or two over the past 40 some odd years. And sometimes the simplest lessons are the ones that, you know, echo over and over and over again, year after year. And sometimes it's nice to just be reminded of these tips. So make of this what you will. Today's tip is on listening. Listen to your players. Listen to your DM. I don't think we have uh, forgotten. We have forgotten how to listen, I think. Especially in the digital age. Anything in the uh, books? Hmm. No, Ooh, movies. Oh, look at this strange alien technology called DVD. I think we've forgotten how to listen, and it's harder to listen, especially when we're talking to each other on the Discord or the Facebook or the Zoom or the StreamYard. Three, four, five people all talking at the exact same time, and that conversation being filtered through the interweb to the less than optimal technology that is available to us. We can talk to somebody clearly in space, but we can't talk to somebody clearly in the next town over. Go figure. Sometimes we don't listen, and sometimes DMs don't listen. And that's, uh, you know, come up a lot in the last couple of years in my perception of watching games, being in games, being in games face-to-face, -face, being in games on various different technologies that players say things and sometimes the DM doesn't get it, doesn't hear them, or doesn't want to hear them. It's so wrapped up in what's going on in their head that they miss, this, miss things. And these things could be kernels of stories that maybe the players want to explore. I can think of one game, uh, where one of the player characters, almost every session, made a, a comment about his character's past. Week after week after week. And week after week after week, the DM just seemed to miss it. It was never echoed back to him, and it was never followed up for, it was never discussed. Almost every week the character was doing things based upon the background that he thought or she thought was agreed upon between good afternoon oh good afternoon dog uh agreed upon you know session zero this is my character's backstory this is what's important to me these are the uh you know the points that drive my character uh so is it something we can explore maybe and i guess the dm didn't say no because the cute player kept bringing it up but the DM never heard them. And it gets to the point where, you know, the player's getting frustrated and they're like, are you not listening to me? And sure, we can blame it on Discord. I know this happened to me recently where I was in a game for quite a while and then discovered about 14 sessions in that 90% of everything I said, the DM wasn't hearing. Now, is that because there was a lot of people talking? Or is that because the DM wasn't paying attention? Or is that because of the fault of the technology? Or should I have just spoke up more? The problem, of course, is the technology 
is in itself gorgeous a huge anchor it's it separates us from the connection that we have when we meet face to face and how our ears process sound coming through the computer is different than how our ears process mm, what lives in these mounds What foul undead inhabit these mounds? Real sound, high definition sound, sound in real life, sound in movies, sound on television is 3D. We can differentiate between a conversation that's close to us in a coffee shop and a conversation that's Hello, lizard. Are you okay? Oh, buddy, it looks like somebody ate your legs off, huh? Oh, well. Good afternoon. Hi, doggo. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, it's a coffee shop, yeah. So if that is a 3D conversation, right? We can talk to the person in front of us, our ears, don't register consciously the conversation one booth over but when it's processed through the computer that 3d definition is lost we hear every conversation at the exact same time at the exact same level and our ears can't differentiate and it's even harder if you're dealing with like a learning disability or autism or obsessive convulsiveness or anything sensory where your brain already has issues processing information because now it's even further further diluted by the fact that you're not getting all three dimensions of the conversation you're hearing every aspect of the conversation at the exact same time so week after week after week the player is trying to bring up this this point this this point that's important to their character um, and trying to invest in the character story and asking, you know, questions through the character's eyes with the character's voice and it's being missed. And then, you know, in my own story where I hear that uh, after some odd, like 10, 12 games, 90% of everything I said the DM didn't hear. So we need to listen. It's, it's a skill that we were taught in preschool, kindergarten. And it's a skill that I think, especially in this digital age, we don't focus enough on. We don't focus enough on listening to each other talk. And we don't focus enough on what the DM is telling us because of all the same reasons that I just went over from a player's point of view. From a DM's point of view, I'm sure the DM also feels like eight out of every 10 things they're saying are getting lost in the translation through the digital empire so that they have to repeat themselves and they have to go over questions that they already answered and they have to uh, regurgitate facts that they've already given you three times. What does the elf look like? I've already described the elf. I described the elf last week. I described the elf the week before. I've told you everything there is to know about the elf. Why are you still asking me questions about the elf? This is now going to waste 10 minutes of time that could be used to moving the game forward because the players didn't listen. And if we're going to continue to use the digital computer, especially Discord, the others are bad, but it's Discord's the worst. If we're going to continue to use this digital mission, we have to understand that it's not 3D. The sound is not 3D. Our brains aren't differentiating close-up sound to far away sound. Every conversation is being heard at the exact same level. And everything that the DM says is being lost in the, uh, drowned out in the, um, words. Hi. 
howdy. Drowned out in the cacophony of the other players talking. And if there is out of character chatter going on, that's even makes it a hundred times worse. And now what if the DM has the same issues? What if the DM has, you know, computer issues or processing issues or doesn't have a Sony surround sound 5.1 Dolby stereo for their computer? They're hearing every conversation at the exact same time. So they're not listening and we're not listening to him because if we have to ask the DM the same question we asked a week before, that's telling him we're not listening. We didn't hear what he said. And it might have been important and we're missing it. There might have been some really important clue, but we missed it. We missed it because we weren't listening. Listen. I mean, a subcategory of that, of course, especially as we talk about 3 and 4D role-playing, or the lack thereof, is out-of-character chatter. That's just... I mean, it's always awful. It always disrupts the balance of the game. But it's even more awful in the digital environment where we don't process the difference. We're hearing the conversation between Jenny and Steve about whatever they're talking about that has nothing to do with the game. We're hearing um, Mark t trying to uh, backdoor DM and give suggestions even though, and respond to things, you know. Whatever the DM's telling Susan about her character, Mark is responding to what her character is doing even though Mark's not there. Jerry and Steve are talking about stuff that has nothing to do with the game and all this is things and we're hearing it and somewhere in there the DM drops a clue but Susan didn't hear it because Mark and Jerry and Steve were talking so they she missed it and the DM doesn't know that you missed it because how would they until a few days you know a few moments later when the clue is resolved, the players are all there scratching their head because no one listened. Listen. On this beautiful spring day, as I walk through the park, my DM tip for the day is listen. It's important and it's even more important because more and more of us are going to be using the digital medium to play. And we know that the digital medium is a huge enemy to creativity, to our minds, to our ears, to how we process information. The next generation of gamers, well, they'll, be, they'll have evolved in the digital medium. So they won't have the problems that old folks like me have. But for the rest of us, we need to learn to listen.